Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welding tips and demonstrations. Now today we've been called in to do uh, repairs on a, a mast of a well-known manufacturer mate, which I'm not going to mention, because manufacturers will turn around and say it can't be repaired, it's scrap. Now I'll prove wrong and I'll give my 12 month warranty as normal. So as we're gonna show you how to repair this. Now, I'll do some close-up shots in a moment and you'll be able to see how this has been ripped out from the actual frame itself. So as we're going to insert a plate in there, fully welded, we're going to prep it, we're going to preheat it and we're going to refit the stub. Uh, also, on the other side of the mast, the stubs are worn, so as those are coming off as well. Probably all four. We'll see how we progress from that and see how we, we get on with it. Now then, we found some uh, some boiler plate, 50D. Um, we've cut some plate out. Notice the radiuses. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, clean this up now and put a nice prep on it, uh, ready so as we can insert that into the frame. So as what we've got here is like a 30 degree hand cut prep. And what we're going to do now is get that ground up with a grinder and then we'll come back the other way on about six mil so and then we'll leave a gap of, of one to two mil on the whole of the thing then uh, so that should be a fantastic 100 percent preparation so as we've uh, cut this plate out now we've done about a 30 degree prep on it and a six mil back prep uh, we've hand cutted basically what we want uh, more or less so I'm gonna get the grinder out now and uh, clean that up as you can see we've put magnets to hold it firmly in place you can see slightly where it's touching but we can run the slitting disc in there but we've got a nice couple of mil gap in there to get full penetration through the other side and the magnets are holding it absolutely true so I'm happy with that um, I shall probably just tack that now in all the four corners and then get the slitting disc and just pull it out and then uh, what we're going to do is use uh, uh, the stick welder and we can get some low hydrogen welding rods in there a bit of preheat first and then we can get a nice route run in there so as our plates tacked in there we've got about two to three mil on uh, gaps all the way around we're, we're quite happy with how the plate sitting nice and level so I'm happy with that now. I've decided I'm gonna shoot, shove the MIG in to give it a root, and then we're gonna back grind it and then stick it. Right, as you can see, the plate now is fully welded for the root. Uh, and I've actually, that was like a six mil uh, fillet, what I left on the outside. So as all the, the, the welds where it's missed and gapped, We've gone through with a, a six millimeter uh, die grinder. Now that now is, uh, will be 100% when welded up. So as what we're gonna do now is use, uh, give it a little bit more preheat. You only want about 120, 150. And we're gonna use some uh, 7016 low hydrogen uh, welding rods. And we're gonna start from, from a, a, around the bottom and work our way up and from this side and, and down. One run should do it. Uh, I'll set the power a little bit high because I like it to go in, but there might be a capper over the top then that can be ground off then. And that then is complete then. All we've got to do then is fill the other side up. Uh, so let's uh, take it from there. So I decided to start from the bottom and the top. So as we did that first, and then we, we've run it up this way to fill all my uh, gouging out mid prep. So that now is perfect. What we need to do now is grind it off, flush it off, that's the inside finish. But I won't be doing that just yet because what I want to do now is fill it from the other side. So we've filled the outside uh, with your stringer runs. Uh, the reason why we don't want no big fat weaves shrinking the plate and 
causing stress. So as I'm not particularly worried about the look of the wells because it's all going to be linished off and then fine sanded, then we need to put the hole in. And this is what it looks like uh, with all the weld removed. There's no uh, imperfections in there whatsoever. And I can guarantee you that will uh, pass a UDT ultrasonic test. No worries there whatsoever. Now let's get the inside done. Also, what you've got to remember, it is a three part structure. One, two, three. As you can see, the original machine factory machine welds to, to make this channel section so let's get this uh, cleaned off now and then we can think about putting a hole in it for the stub there you go that's the inside all done sorted perfect so let's get on and get the old cut out now and uh, get the stub in all ready for cutting out now So as all this now is flame cut out, we've just got to clean it up now uh, and then get it welded in. That's about as good as we're going to get it. So we can get that in. And obviously, it's that side. We can get that welded up now. Now that's all ready to be welded on with low hydrogen rods. We've put a protector on the stub to protect that. Uh, we're gonna give it a bit of pre now and, and crack on with that. Okay, stud's been welded on. We've used uh, two runs, a root and a cap, 2.5 low H. That's the protector on it. Stub's all done now, just needs just a little bit of buffing, a little bit of paint, and it'll look as if it's never been changed in its life. Thanks for watching.